I think this EP is more for the fans. But I'm a fan, so I'm liking it. I think this thing could have been more, but it's pretty solid, very fun to listen to, and great for what it is. I'm feeling a strong 7 on this thing. Don't listen to this and just observe it at the surface. Scratch below, interpret, think, observe, and enjoy. I'm feeling a light to decent 8 on this. I think it's great. There were some tracks here that underwhelmed me a little bit toward the middle of the album, but <laughs> strong start and strong finish. Given these more shallow party tracks toward the back end of this album, uh, they still sound unique. Nobody is doing tracks like this quite like Danny is. However, it's still hard for me personally to, to not get sick of them at least a little bit as I'm listening to this album from beginning to end. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. As far as contemporary, experimental, and abrasive hip-hop records go, this could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. This is like some mind-expanding shit. And again, I, I don't think everybody's gonna like it. I don't think everybody's going to get it, uh, especially given just how catchy Danny's last record was. Uh, th th this is like, you know, really like some off the deep end stuff. Hopefully uh, his fans stick with him and keep their minds open for what he's doing here because I really do think he's making some of his best music yet on this project. I'm feeling a light to decent nine on this thing. I'll take a nine. I mean, it's just a really great collection of tracks. A few duds here and there, but that's it. The vibe is definitely more casual than that of Danny's other core projects, but it also speaks to his talent and his artistry for him to drop a project of this caliber without having to overthink it. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this one. Then the closer, I would say, is one of the more difficult listens on the LP with a very quirky, thin rhythm hanging in the background, which is matched with these crushing walls of bass and keys, some fuzzed out samples too, chaotically flying into the mix in every direction. And with that track, this thing ends aggressively, abruptly, and in a very disorderly fashion, definitely leaving the hose scared and maybe even scarred. <laughs> I'm feeling a light nine on this LP. Yeah, it rules. Hey.